What's up everyone, Ryan Overton, your developer evangelist for Kentico Experience, back here on a remote location in the backyard, coming to you to talk about the present and future of Kentico Experience and how you could be a part of it. With all the craziness happening right now, it's hard to know what's gonna happen today, tomorrow, next week, or even next month. But the team working on Kentico Experience have worked hard to ensure that you know what's coming. So let's go ahead and take a look at the product roadmap. Over on your PC, load up your favorite browser. I'm using Microsoft Edge, specifically the dev version, because you know I like to play with the latest and greatest features and see what's coming soon. Um, but you can use Chrome, Firefox, Opera, Netscape if you've got a time machine. Or some of the new ones like Brave. There's just new ones popping up all over the place. But this will work in any of them. Go ahead and head on over to experience.io. And then we're going to go over here under the product tab and head on down to roadmap. Now, this roadmap page consists of a little bit more than the roadmap. If you want to find out more about the product vision, we got you covered. There's a great page with a great explanation about the ideas that are driving the future and the vision of the product. Just click on discover our vision down here. Or there's more about the roadmap, which we're going to explore in just a minute here. But Kintico has a Kintico experience has a rich history. Um, so to find out more about it, go check it out. It's been around for a lot longer than you might think. Or to find out more about the product lifecycle, support lifecycle, click on the support lifecycle link. We're going to head on up over here to roadmap. Click on explore roadmap. Now the product roadmap consists of four columns, letting you know where a feature or idea is in the production pipeline. The first column is the under consideration. Like the name of the column suggests, it's ideas that we've got for the future. These are not guaranteed. These are not guaranteed to be in the product. Um, but the team thought these were worthwhile and wants to explore them a little bit more. The second column, again, like the name suggests, is the in development column. This is letting you know which ideas are actually being actively worked on by teams or are slated for upcoming sprints. The third column, the in beta column, these are items that have made it into a, a beta release of Kentico Experience. So you can go try them out, check them out, and give us your feedback on what you think of them. And the fourth and final column, the launch column. Yes, you've got it right. The launch is where this is actually the product that is generally available to the public. Now, as we get closer and closer to the release of Kentico Experience 13, it's important for you to understand we're not done improving the product. We've got a ways to go. The team has an amazing vision for the future, but we want, no, we need your input and feedback to help us ensure that our vision is going in the right direction providing you valuable features. To show your support for an idea, click on the item, scroll down, and tell us how important is it to you? Is it something nice to have? Is it an important feature or critical for the function of your business or your client's business? But wait, what, what if your feature isn't actually in the list yet? Are, are you out of luck? No, no, we've got you covered there. Go ahead and click out of there. Click on submit an idea. Fill in a description, be as descriptive as possible, giving us all the details, what you like, what you don't like, what's missing, and then tell us how important it is to you. And if you're willing to help us out and flesh this out a little bit more, give us your email so we can contact you and make sure we understand exactly what you're asking and get the use case for it. With all that in place, go ahead and click submit and your idea is on its way to being potentially part of the next release of Kentico Experience. Now that you know about the product roadmap, what are you going to do to change the future and impact Kentico Experience? If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that thumbs up and let us know. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click that bell notification so you can be notified the next time we drop more information about Kentico Experience. There's also a monthly newsletter focused on developers, and you can subscribe to that by clicking in the link in the description below. Until next time, I'm Ryan Overton, your Kentico Experience Developer Evangelist. See you later.